Hey everyone, Andy here. I'm back again with the 700, and now we're checking out the dynamic range of the camera, something you, uh, many of you asked about. Uh, I have the DSD Labs 18-step grayscale chart and my scope back here to give a rough idea of the dynamic range of the camera overall. Uh, we found right away that it actually is very similar to the 100 in giving you around 11 to 11 and a half stops of dynamic range. Um, this is uh, different though in, the ca in this camera because I have the Cine Gammas, um, the same as found in the F3. Uh, the, uh, the FS100 has a um, Cine Tone Gammas, which have different uh, results th th than we found in this camera, which has uh, more cinematic Cine, Cine Gammas, that, just like the F3 has. So it has four Cine Gammas, uh, numbers one and number two being for highlight rendition, uh, number one going to 109%, number two going to 100 but both intentionally made for holding highlight information. Cine 3 and Cine 4 being for more normal uh, shooting scenarios. I use Cine 3 a lot for uh, because it holds highlights and low end very well. Cine 4 is a little different. It actually boosts the midtones a lot, but it, the, but the low end is darker because of that. They actually crush down the low end a little bit more, uh, and the highlights are held okay. So Cine 3 and Cine 4 more normal shooting. One and two for bright days. This this is the same as we learned in the F3. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the the, the chart here and see the stops marked out. Uh, here it is in Cine 1, as you can see. Just about 11 and a half, very nice. Cine 2, which equipped at 100% uh, instead of 109. Uh, Cine 3, and then, which is good for midtones, and then Cine 4. We notice the midtone changes a little bit, bumps up just a little bit, uh, but uh, one of the things we noticed was in Cine 4, the ISO slightly changes as well, which is interesting. You can sort of, as you change the gamma modes around, you have more or less gammas, uh, ISOs available to you. Uh, depending on sort of the noise level, etc. So uh, it's interesting how this camera works uh, in that way. Uh, but we wanted to do testing in the real world as well to show you how it performs. Uh, so we went outside and shot some things around. Unfortunately, it is a little overcast today, or very overcast today here in New York. So we got some things. Uh, we didn't have a really high contrast to show you, but uh, I do like uh, the way it handles skin tones outside and that nice soft light. Uh, harsher light would be a better test, obviously, but here's some uh, outside examples on a bright day uh, just for you to check out.